Hey guys, welcome to Farm Alarm. My name's Tracy. I need a fuel cell and I'm not trying to spend $100. So today we're gonna stop by Harbor Freight and pick up an 11 gallon air tank for less than 30 bucks. First, never, ever, ever cut or weld on a sealed air tank. So first remove the air line from the tank bung so it cannot become pressurized. I've been using these flap discs for quite some time now. I used to buy DeWalt ones, but they're getting quite expensive. Around $20, 20 to $22, you can get a 20 pack of these lot fancy. I highly recommend them. So the bung that was on the top of the tank used for the airport, now we have rotated that to the bottom and that is going to be the fuel outlet. This is a push lock hose barb and it doesn't require a hose clamp. Uh, just be sure to put a little bit of oil on the end of the barb and on the hose. You can use any old fuel filler neck. Uh, we actually got this one off of an old Kubota skid loader. So thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't seen what this is going in, we bought an old 1949 Chevy truck and I needed a temporary fuel cell for that thing. Uh, I'll put that video right up there and if you haven't subscribed yet, do, do so right down there and we'll see you guys on the next video.